Hello everybody, and welcome back to the Kazadum campaign, and uh, since we last spoke, um, what's it, there was the, the funeral of Prince Philip, uh, which no one really seems to care that much about, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I would have uploaded on Saturday and Sunday, but you, the U YouTube studio where you upload stuff on, um, it just it just kept crashing, so I couldn't actually upload anything. But thank you very much for the suggestions. I'm amazed at how many people still find this campaign so enticing that they want to keep watching every single time. Um, but thank you very much. And one of those things was change the capital. And I've already had a look. Um, I suppose you could call it cheating in a way, but... Oh, well, no, it's not really, is it? Um, I already had a look at the best settlement to name as our new capital. And I do quite like having Kazadum as the capital in terms of the theme. And same goes for Mount Gundabad, as it was suggested. And Zagkala is better than KD. And actually, Yorlstone's pretty good. But the best one that I found was Goblin Town. So if we look there, 229846. And I go to Goblin Town. So 229846, was it? <laughs> I've already forgotten. But it doesn't really matter because that goes up by a staggering amount. Look at that. So much more money. Because actually most of... Well, we've got Kirikathol, Erebor. Like all these mountain regions over here in the Grey Mountains and whatnot. All these regions make so much money. And something I did notice that whilst the corruption here hasn't moved. We do have the armory still here. Which is something that you get um, when you take Kazadum. Um, and it gives you the law bonus. Now, I haven't actually tested to see if that would be worth getting rid of. But I'm just going to keep it there because uh, hey-ho. Well, anyway. We've uh, successfully defeated several of Isengard's armies. And we're going for a dry hunt. Now, I think I, my liege. this army here is probably going to get absolutely wiped out. So then we're going to use this one as backup. So let's just keep it there next to the elves. Uh, keep it nice and comfy. Oh, and this guy does indeed have the one ring, uh, as was uh, asked about. Um, so, um, and we do have loads of money. We don't have any generals, though. So, let's try and remedy that and see if we can. Where is he? There we are. Uh, let's get another Zenith Guard, and then we could, uh, you know, benefit our... Well, we could actually lead one of these armies a bit better. Because I do like to have a general in each. And so, um, Graw is probably going to be the battering ram. Try and take all of this out. And then we're going to follow it up with Dom. I might just pass all of his units on. And then Graw will take that. And then, hopefully by that time, we'll have more units. Then kind of press on. Um, that is the plan for today. Um, of course, we are also going for Barad Vin over there. And can we actually retrain any of this? No. Well, let's just recruit them. And recruit them. Oh, hang on. We've got some First Legion here. So okay. let's move them across. And we'll retrain them. If there's... Oh, we've got another one over there available. So let's just send you over there. And get you retrained there too. Uh, there we are. And retrain the general. Retrain you. And that's all done. And I think that is pretty much everything uh, that we can do. Of course, Dale did attack us, but there, there's no real hope for them. Do we have a... Okay, these guys also... Yeah, let's send them in here to be retrained. Dragon Slayers and whatnot. Fantastic. So let's see what Isengard do, because we might be attacked here. Very interesting. The Dwarven King is dead. Was that us? I don't know. Erebor wanes anyway. And um, I can't remember when we... No, we took Erebor ages ago. It's Kirikathor we just took. Um, right, well, let's just uh, pop a watchtower down there. Didn't realise there was actually a pass that goes through... Uh, or a, a crossing point there. Um, ooh, probably shouldn't have done that. <laughs> just uh, race through the lands. Perhaps they didn't even notice. Um, we'll... Put another one right there, and the then we'll... The where does our border go? I think it is just along this river here, yeah. Um, there's no chance of them really going around that way since the road goes through here. 
And... Oh! Okay. Everyone hates Mordor now. Right, let's have a look at that. So, Mordor are, are at war with the Easterlings, Urs, uh, Erebor, Lothlorien, but mainly the Easterlings and Isengard. Wow. Okay, I have never seen this happen before. Let's just put those in. And uh, Kirgathol got the town hall. How much now would this give us? Quite a lot. What about that? Uh, not anywhere near as much. Wait, what am I even... Oh, okay. Is that really only 20 extra? Oh, I suppose it is, because this other one, the previous tier, gives 20. Ah, very interesting. Right, well, we'll get them. And... Or the broads. And... Um, oh, we've got a coming of age. Right. Okay, well, that's good. Because we did need another general. Um, well, I'll send you right out. That one that we're training, we will keep hold of. And Balin over there, he's likely to be attacked over the course of the end turn, perhaps. Aye. But, yeah, let's, before I forget, let's just move him out. Aye, move him to there. And, Aye. right. There are... We don't really want to fight all of this at the same time. Uh, what do they have? Oh, they've got a catapult and a ballista. They've got some cavalry, but I don't think that's too much of an issue. Um, how about we stand... Oh, let's not go that far around. Let's stand there, attack that. That way, they will be quite far away. Because siege crews walk really, really slowly. So perhaps by the time that they make it within range of us, we will have taken everything else out. But yeah, there's not. We've seen kind of how they perform against us, and it's not that great. Not as good as the auto resolve predicts, but the berserkers are ones to watch out for. And do we have any archers? No. Ah. And. Oh, they've got a ballister too. Oh dear. Attack! Let's see, then, how this goes. Um, we are, of course, going to have to march up over there. This is also why I don't really like using groups. Because, uh, well, because you can't uh, move them around so much. But I just wanted to keep them slightly separate. Let's uh, go ahead and put them all like that. And uh, if we just ungroup you. And see, this is like our front line, if you want. And I think we might just have to make everyone run. Oh, and let's bring our general. Right, you're going to just run straight in. I think, yeah, we're just going to have to run everyone up there. Uh, yeah, go, go, go. I mean, they're only archers and the like, so it's not really too bad. The main army is coming from over there, so if we could just take all of this... Yeah, everyone that can run, just run. I'm not really going to bother about moving the pikes at a fast pace because, like, they'll do what they can do. But you, if you can fire some mortars at the baluster, that would be grand. Oh, they've got Nazkai. That's pretty interesting. What are the stats on them? 17 and 26. They've got the two hit points and a lot of armor. Interesting. Right, go, go, go. And we've just ran into some reavers here. Oh, they're just archers there. And, oh, we got a good hit there. Well, they're not really going to be standing and fighting against us. So let's just send... Actually, Casadome Guardians just go in there. If you can get at the Orthanc sentries. And Sons of the Fallen. Go like so. Ooh, getting some good shots there. And uh, there's our general. Let's bring these guys over here. And all of these two, let's just bring them up over here. Because, as you see over the crest of that hill, that is where the enemy lies. And I think, let's try and just get a few hits over there. I mean, we're not very accurate. 
you can just get a couple hits, then I'll be glad about that. And... Right, if you'd like to just push through into that, that would be pretty cool. And then I think we'll probably go for one more shot from the catapults. There we go. And then we'll bring them over here because we don't want them to get left behind. Right, Sons of the Fallen go around. And, right, Dwarven Laborers, if you'd like to just go there, then you can keep them skirmishing. Because we, we aren't ever going to catch them. Yeah, but I would like to shut down that over there. The uh, ballista. Right, you push through. Because they are about here. So, what are they even firing at? They look like they're firing over here. It's not too much of a concern. And to be honest, all these guys can probably hold the line just as well as anything else we've got. So, let's run them over there. And these will run them over there. So, we can actually do some kind of flanking. Go, go, go. Pump those dwarven legs. Right, now go in and shut down that ballister now too. And if they want to fight or fire at the labourers right there, then I'm okay with that. It looks like they're completely disregarding them though. Right, ballister or catapults, get over there. And you as well, just swing around over there. Do we not have any more pikes or is it just you? Okay. You feel free to run, Orc Hunters. And you two. I want to use your ammunition. Oh, they've got a catapult. And a ballister. Oh, and there are the Warg Marauders. Okay. And yeah, now they are just... You know what? You just chase them. If you catch them in melee, then you'll probably do okay. And, well, if you don't, then uh, you've kept them uh, honest, at least. Right, here we go. Orc, Bane Guard. Let's send in the King's Axes. And we'll see if we can get a charge off. Our General's there, so let's send the uh, these guys over. I don't think we've got any... Oh, we got one volley off. Of maces. And... Something hit pretty close to our lines there. Right. Uruk Reaver's there. You go like so. And if you'd like to hit them... Um, what's this here? Rukai Archers. I'd really want to get around the back. In fact, let's go with that one. The hammer guards can come like that. And I think, yeah, that's pretty pretty close to our line there. So let's not be doing that. Okay. That's good. That's good, obviously. Looks like they got some friendly fire. And that looks like the other one. I wonder if we just pop, if we could pop one more to shot right there because Graw is in there. The enemy are badly blooded. They have lost half their men. Um, before we, we're going to use these hammer guards over here to strike them from behind. And yeah, the laborers, the laborers are going to die, I think. But oh dear. I don't think we can actually get in range to use our catapult on them. So let's just send that unit over there. King's Axes, you go in over there. And what's this? Oh, okay. Right, you go over there. Help them out if you can. And you quickly come and charge in here. Oh, no, no, over here, over here. Because, yeah, our general's here somewhere. 
There he is. He's a bit bloodied up. Right, let's see if we can get the First Legion to march in. And in we come. I thought this was a Hammer Guard unit, but this will have to do. It's going to have to do. And what are you? Kazadum Guardians. Okay, let's move you in. Nice, they're routing. Good. You've saved our general. Right, go and take that catapult out real quick. Um, Going to take a few losses, a few casualties here or there. Now, I'd kind of prefer it if they stayed and fought us. Um, but... You'll have to do. Right, charge in like so. And the rest of you just... Just go and charge in. I think they're all routing. We might have some difficulties over there. This is probably just going to take a while. But I think we've pretty much got them. How have we managed to get an uphill... Engagement there. That's quite interesting. Right, well we shut down the catapult. No chance... Of any further egregious losses there. And these are all routing. Right, let's see if we can get a mortar shot on them. And if you'd like to just attack them in the rear. And we'll bring you folks around over here. And all of you, if you'd just like to come and charge at this. We'll see if we can just run them off the battlefield. We don't need to mess around with uh, trying to capture as many as possible. Oh, they got the Berserkers there. Oh, and then over here, they've got more Berserkers. Well, that might be a bit of an issue because <laughs> there's no way that the Shield Guard could deal with that. Uh, you go and take them and you just swing over there. We've got Raiders there. You attack them and... Yeah, just chase them off. What have we got here? Oh, okay. Well, we've taken out those... Those berserkers that were there. And... I don't actually know what is happening anymore. We've taken out the baluster crew and the catapult crew. And this is all that remains. Well, from here on out... I think it's... It's pretty plain sailing. If we had a unit of cavalry, we probably could... Could do this a bit quicker. I did see that Galu released a video today regarding uh, version 4.6, which should fix the mercenary system, uh, which I I'm led to believe was already available on the Discord. But um, yeah, it's not save game compatible, so I personally won't be downloading it because it is just a bug fix patch essentially. But uh, for everyone else out there. It is available. The last berserker goes down, and I think that's probably it. After them, cut the cowards down. Well, that's as many as we can catch, which wasn't many. But, 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 um, yeah, we didn't get quite enough of them. I think maybe this one's been wiped out, but let's have a look at the kills. Uh, 280 Dwarven Laborers. Well, they went up against those archers, and they all died, which is fine by me. 207 Hammer Guard, and I think the catapults, I well, I don't see them. Well, they got 80. It, it wasn't, uh, it was too much of a mosh pit battle for them, perhaps. And execute, and let's see, yeah, we wiped out that smaller army, and the other one got away, so, uh, what to do, considering how well that went, I feel quite confident just pushing on, I'm gonna stick and I feel I'm like, gonna stick since you. they've got no catapults or anything like that, I'm just going to go up to... Okay, the ambush didn't work, but that's fine. We're just going to go straight there and see what they do. And in the meantime, we will push up with Dom. Uh, because I don't think... Well, I see there's an army there, but... Are they really moving over here? I don't think so. I think that is the only one that is currently en route. Um, so with Dom, we're going to move... To, well, we'll just keep him there. We want to keep his army fresh. We might just get this entire army killed, really. Um, 
but it should have decent mileage. And then, well, these are already all Aye being sir. paid Aye. for, so uh, who's got, Aye, we got room for that? Aye, no, sir. hang on, we've got hardly room for anything. So we'll go like that. Aye. And what is it, another three? Aye, there we go. Aye. The and Aye, yeah, we'll just leave them on the bridge. And I wonder if that's going to shake up the diplomacy a lot. Well, not the diplomacy, but the power balance in the world. Because if we look here, yeah, I very rarely look at this because I, uh, well, I don't find it all that useful, <laughs> basically. But um, where's Mordor? There's, well, this is partly that. And then there's the Easterlings. And then um, where's Isengard? There we go. So Isengard have plateaued probably ever since we attacked them I, i'm not so sure that's in terms of overall ranking so mordor way at the top and i mean they're all on a downward trend apart from us oh that's militarily and i reckon that's going to take a big hit um wait which one's which okay so hang on right yeah so we're there easterlings are second and mordor at the top there also having plateaued, and I think that's, uh, yeah, that's us there. Um, the AI doesn't really rely so much on money, but uh, you can still see even the Easterlings are, uh, they've got quite a lot there. And population-wise, I think that's Mordor at the top, yeah. And overall, okay. But they're all at war, so um, it could leave a generous vacuum. And in a way, I kind of hope that Mordor win or not wind but they're able to hold on because if we were to destroy the one ring then mordor gets completely annihilated and all of its regions turn rebel i think and if isengard are already winning well that would just make them <laughs> absolutely ginormous but i don't think it's isengard we have to worry about it'll probably be the easterlings so um anyway what else to do this oh i was asked why not build these um buildings in here in Kazadum. Well, this building gives us 10 extra gold, I think. I, I don't know where the... Uh, where is it? Um, dungeon. Yeah, see, this building gives us 50. This is the upgrade, and it gives us an extra 10. So, I don't see much worth in getting that. And the brewery as well. We, we get culture from the mines as dwarves. And uh, we don't really need more than 75%. And the second tier of armory, um, it's it's not worth getting. Even even the first tier perhaps isn't required anymore. Uh, but it's useful just for the law bonus. But I think that's everything. Did we have some units that I trained in Litash? I think so. So we'll Aye, pop Lord. them into Aye, that fort Move there. On. And something I've neglected to do for a while. You know what? Let's just get that is, yeah, probably should have had uh, an eye on that, but we'll put those all in the queue, and we've got a few more forts dotted around here that we can just fill up, and we have now, this is the original Dragon Slayer unit that we had at the beginning of the campaign, so we'll retrain them too, and get another catapult, and... You know what? We will take the Beast Hunters. Perhaps they're, they're maybe more useful against Isengard in particular in um, in in the war that we're currently having. And I kind of want to take these forts here, but I don't know what else Dale have got. So if I see the Woodland Realm going in to take that, because... Uh, oh no, they're not at war. Uh, well, not yet anyway. But uh, I'd kind of want those two forts. It'll make me feel a little safer. Wait, is that that's quite a big army. Um. Well, if we see something happening, then we'll send Barlin over. Anyway, we will end the turn there. The stubbornness of dwarves. Uh, this is presumably the last stand script for the dwarves of Erebor. And we've made it to Buzzard Dum with our spy. And, oh, there's our Gimmelcad. He is actually the guy, he is the faction leader from the beginning of the campaign, and he's made it all the way up here. 
Very interesting. And there's a mixture of elven and northmen and dwarven uh, settlement types. That's quite interesting. Uh, we want to get there at some point when we can spare uh, the the resources. Um, what do we want here? Let's just get the heels of this hall after that. And Nazanar is already sorted. Okay, and... They're oh, not no, gonna no, attack no, us. No, <laughs> uh, for a moment then, I was like, oh dear. No, but I think we found out last time, was it? They had uh, Skarn and one of the... I think it's Talathang that's there. So, they're not going to be bothering us. At least I hope not. So, let's first get the uh, Watchtowers down because everyone loves... Uh, <laughs> seeing them go down and we'll put one more over here and once that's done Barling can can go uh, yeah just keeping an eye on everything where are you going where were you going um, perhaps I will just send you over here because I think I was sending you over there but let's send you right yeah it's because of that isn't it I'll give you a catapult, and then you're going to go into a fort, I think. I think we'll do that. And did we yet get the general? No, we didn't. Ooh. Now, this could well be the demise of this entire army, but it would also mean potentially that we take out all of theirs so I'm going to siege that let's just see what they've got we've got two balisters and three and what else Shagrak four I mean in a way it's a good thing that they are getting so many balisters because you know then that they're kind of running low on the recruitment so they've got a lot of balisters that could be an issue, but not really if we're all in melee, because they won't be able to fire at us. Um, I'm going to just stand there, and right, there's that I'm army. I think the elves you. can probably handle that, I, my liege. and perhaps if we then, with this army, I highly doubt there's anything else You're coming. Sure. They would have already pushed through. Yeah, I don't see anything else. This army is going to get ready to then push forward. So let's go over here. Would we go for Rockburg? No, we'll leave Rockburg open so that army can go and fight the elves so they can do something. And then with this guy, this is like another um, replacement army, if you like. And yeah, let's actually just push forward with them. We've got no worries here. And that next general, um, we will bring him along. And we've got a ballast there. That's good. And we will have to also take that catapult. Let's bring that over here. And, ooh, nice. And so that's then going to march out into a third or fourth army actually and suddenly we are looking pretty good two more turns until that surrenders and we will take that and we will give that over then to the northern dunadine which is pretty good and then he's just going to carry on moving on over here maybe actually Farlin could actually just go and take Isengard himself that that could very well be a thing. And then this group here won't even need to go in that direction. And we will just be able to kind of keep going for Mordor. I, I don't know. We do have a diplomat here somewhere because, yeah, there we go. I really need to go and have a chat with Rohan, but they're so far away. Yes, sire. Oh, dear. Stop here, sire. Okay, they're attacking us. Brilliant. Um, I'd just like to point out the reason why I didn't assault the city is because um, we can't actually chase them down. Therefore, if we were to win the battle, we might not get the city. And I didn't want to actually assault 
the city directly because um, they get the towers and like they're already grossly outnumbering us. So why give them that advantage? Okay, I thought I'd just uh, point that out. Um, so we've got uh, 1,760 dwarves up against uh, what? Uh, 5,500? They're actually only coming out as a three armies. I thought it would be a bit more, but there's not loads of really good units. Like, Urukai Raid is decent, but they would uh, need probably two or three units to take down, like, a Legion Deeping Guard. And that's exactly what we are going for today. They do have the cavalry, but we're going to try and maybe just blob up. And their archers don't do anything to our armor. The only real threat is the balisters but if we are in a big blob then equally they're not going to fire their own troops so because uh, you can't do that really in this game so let's go on in there if we win we take a dry hunt and we smash their pretty much all of their armies the time's come lads to battle the enemy have brought up more men they hope to make up in numbers what they lack in courage. indeed i don't actually know which army is coming from where and Oh, that's a big one there. And that's a big one. Should we move? Um, is this really the best place to be? Um, yeah, I mean, it probably is. We're going to get flanked. Um, let's just move like so. Obviously, we, we probably won't want to just sit back and let them hit us because of the balusters. Um, in melee, it's where we're going to be strongest. So, we'll go like this for now. But then uh, we will kind of just break out. So, I think we can be quite aggressive with our ammunition usage. Because I don't necessarily foresee the catapults um, lasting too long. Um, getting some good shots there on some high value targets. Let's see if we can just pop a couple of those ballast die. And we're going to try and use the grape shot here immediately as they walk forward. If we could just get those to fire. Okay, good. And then, right, stop firing. Okay, that is enough of that. So, now we're going to just march forward. Because we can't be taking shots like that. Oh my days, and they are... They outnumber us so heavily, like they're going to catch us easily on the flank. So let's not go that far. And then these guys, you're just going to go like so. You're going to go like so. And unfortunately, the catapult, I did want to do some good with you. But uh, that's not really feasible. We can't sit here and take that fire. And then... Let's move you over there, General. I'll keep you in loose formation because they might target you. Right, you just stop there. And as long as we don't get too heavily flanked, I think we'll probably be okay. So what do we have over here? Uruk Reavers, Urukai Infantry running around there. Um, right, you're just going to have to stay there because if they attack you from either side, you're kind of screwed. Uh, you just pull out a little bit. They've got the cavalry over here. That's what we need to be pretty mindful of. Uh, but this is kind of what we were hoping for in a way. Uh, just more of the melee. Um, and they've already come in over here with some cavalry. But those ballast die are the real issue. So yeah, let's just aim for them. Let's just aim for them. Can you lob your maces at something? Quickly, 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 quickly. Okay, they're coming in over here. It's already getting a bit laggy. And probably should have used these eight here. Right, let's see if I can capture them. Nice, we got them. I don't think they got a charge off. No, they didn't. That's good. That's very good. And the Kazadom Guardians aren't flanked. If you can just... Just do something useful. <laughs> and these guys, they're going to take a pounding. They're just going to, they're just going to, they're just probably going to die, aren't they? You're just going to go straight over there for that ballista. 
you're already in melee. Oh, that's one of our weak links. Right, see if we can just get those crossbows. And yeah, they're shooting down our line there. That's not good. And that's not working out at all. So you're just going to go into melee. And... Oh, they came in with some Dunlending Horsemen. Well, that's why our general's there, I suppose. Um, no threat of any more flankers. Oh, but they've charged into them. But I feel pretty confident, really, in our line holding here. So, like, that's our best units. Right, you're done. Uh, you're getting shot at, and you're probably going to get caught out. But we don't really have too much value tied up in them. Um, okay, that's good. Let's send you into melee with those orc fighters over there. And I think if we send you on a run around there as well, that could be good. And this isn't working out at all, is it? Aim for them instead, because... Like, we're not taking out any of those engines. We could just get rid of that cavalry as well. That would be good. We've still got two units in reserve over here. If needed, this is a key battle. Right, we've shut down one baluster, and I'm pretty happy with that. Um, oh, they've got their bodyguard over there. I wonder. Let's send one unit of these over there. They should be enough to take out a bodyguard. And we're getting some good shots over there. I think. I don't know how we missed so badly there. but um, Right. General, lose formation. What are they firing at now? Right, let's go lose formation and go like that. And they've still got wargs. Right. General, you're going to go over there and see if you can... Right, counter charge. We can't, don't have time to uh, go into loose formation. But we are getting really beaten over there. We're just kind of getting a bit outnumbered. So let's go and support that. Right, you go and attack them. Oh, they've got beast slayers coming around. There's the bodyguard. I think those shield guard could probably hold out for a bit. So we'll... Try and aim for the bodyguard. But. I think we might just have to send this unit in. Oh, how have they got through there? That is ridiculous. Right, well, we're out of um, that one shot. Is this our line here? Yes, it is. Right, let's get right in here. We're going to use the grape shot on that. And unfortunately, we've been picked up by some pikemen. And that's going to take a while to chew through. Let's get rid of this control group here. And we've almost caught their cavalry. Okay. Well, that Dunlending cavalry has been dealt with. So you pick that up. Right, grape shot at them. It's not really a high value target, but they're available and they're in front of us. So if we can fire at them, that's good. We've got card mode on. Only half the enemy force you just remains. use up um, the last of your uh, mortar shot on them. And actually, these shield guard, they're tying up a lot of units there. But do we foresee us needing these? Right, B slayers. Let's go and... Actually, no, 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 no. You stay in loose formation. We use the general here. Um, although this is like a weak point in our line. Right, that's all of that ammunition done for. I have faith in the Kazadum Guardians not going down. So we're going to send these guys right up in here. And do a similar thing on these. Right, actually, if you could... Oh, no, that's way too close, really, isn't it? Can we get a bit closer here? Right, General, you go in there. That's not looking too good over there, but this side's looking really 
good, I think. Like, we are winning solidly. Like, uh, right, let's give some long range grape shot up on them. And then, if we could get a bit closer here, we could get those units just there too. We're getting shot at over here by something. Oh, there's those, um, that baluster over there. Let's push through here. Let's chuck that down. Because we are definitely winning. As of right now. Okay, let's get a bit closer. I'd really want to shoot into that, but... I don't think that's maybe the best idea. Let's get into tight formation. Right, they've sorted them. And these are free. Um, where should we send you now? Just go in there. And General, you come back over here. Lose formation so you don't get popped by any of them. And oh, they've caught us with the spear guard here. I really don't want to be fighting the spear guard. Let's see if we can just wrangle our way past and hit them. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, excellent. We, we're done over here. Alright, Uruk Reavers, you go in there. We'll send these guys around the flank to hit this Bane Guard. The battle seems Although, I think the First Legion are probably doing okay. I think they're probably doing okay. Right, fire at that now. And what's this other unit that's defending them? Okay. They're just firing away at the archers. Whilst our infantry kind of hammers theirs. And we shut down that baluster now too. And well, these will eventually go down. But if they can hold on for a bit longer, this unit of hammer guards will go and help them out. So I changed my mind. We're going to go for this Uruk Reaver unit over here instead. Uh, because I don't think the First Legion need any help. So, hang on. What are you two firing at? Only half the enemy force Bodyguards right there. I think all of their ballister crews are tied up. Oh, we've got this unit over here. Brilliant. So... We're going to send you... Um, we're going to send you over there. Kill them. And our general... Uh, where's a good place for you to go? I think you're probably... I mean, that, that unit of Kazadom Guardians is beaten. I don't know how many, but there was a lot of them there previously. And now there's not. So, we'll just bring you over here. And you... If you can kill their general there... We'll aim at him... For just a moment and yep no more <laughs> okay if you just both fire at that one unit of archers because I think they're targeting you this is looking pretty good we've got a lot of units routing yep so we'll just fire at them and oh let's see if we can actually catch that bodyguard unit he knows He's going to lose, so he runs away. Oh, there we go. We got him. I don't know if that is the one, actually. Let's see if he's got a name. Yeah, that's just a captain. That's not this guy here. So... Okay, that's enough now from them, because we're probably going to get some splash damage on over here. Right, if you just run over there rather than charge, because otherwise only a couple of you will make it. And our hammer guard over here have made it to save our shield guard, who have admirably held on and should be victorious as should these right turn around and just hit what is already hitting you oh and there are the bodyguards right okay come over here and capture them and oh you're all done come over here 
and I think this is all clear. Okay. Right. Well. Wait, are you out of ammunition? I think you are. Okay, well, we'll get a couple of shots here. And uh, it can't be too long now before they all run away. Surely not. They've just got a few archers here and there. We're about to catch the Urukai bodyguard over here with the guardians. We've got a few more coming. Oh, they're routing. Right, all of you just charge at that. And what remains, uh, we'll just run at their bodyguard. We are out of ammunition now on our siege. So it is just kill the body or the general and the get these to run away. He flees there we go. Can't be too man. long. I really want to... Oh, we're not going to catch you. Ca capture. Oh, dear. Right, well, let's do what we can anyway. But this has been a resounding success. That is it. That is as much as we're going to get. And... We lost 28% of our army. I reckon we probably could have taken another army of similar size. Their ballast definitely was uh, very tricky. But Graw, our most famous general, once again proving his might. Um, this army here is wiped out. Now, I think so is this one. And this might be the garrison. Um, oh, it might be. It's right on the cusp. And then Radnag should also... Um, let's have a look. Oh, no, because we didn't kill him. Radnag should still be about. Legion Deep in Guard 394. That is nothing compared to the Kazadome Guardians with 561. I thought they killed. So that is an, a stupendous amount for a melee infantry unit. And they still had 66 men. They could have kept on going. 451 for the Deep in Guard. 436 for the other Guardian unit outstanding and the catapults let's have a look at the catapults i think they did reasonably well to be honest one five four two seven seven and execute do we yes yes we do and we've still got like half a half a stack there and um i mean we are going to give this over to um the elves and i think i think i, I kind of want to get some money out of it well you know what we'll occupy it and we'll sell it and like, yeah, they're like, it's not that we we're not really that bothered about the money, are we? Okay, well that was a fantastic win, but uh, where the hell is our diplomat? Is that the only one that we've got? I, I really dislike how diplomats function in this game. <laughs> they take so long to get anywhere. I'll continue tomorrow. Um. Well, I, I, I'm, I might just cheat move him. I might just cheat move him because I don't want to stay here. Uh, we've retained all of our units though. Um, yeah, they've got stables here, shipwright, got an army barracks as well. So that's where they get their top tier units, and that's where they get their. I think that is their best available. Archery range. Oh, and they've got the tier 2 armory garrison building. That also is very good. Um, should aid them a lot. Oh, and Morbitarth can be upgraded. Well, we'll put that in after that. And anything else? Great roads in Witherboard have been completed. Did I, I didn't put anything after that. Right. Well, let's get the barracks because... Oh, is it the second tier? If I go over here... We might be able to see Dragon Slayers. Fantastic. Well, um, with that in mind, I mean, I, I'm kind of more about the money, but we will get that because I would like to have more Dragon Slayers, as would anyone. Um, so I don't really know what's going on over here. So, Oin, uh, we'll deal with that next turn or this turn, maybe. And finally... Let's put a watchtower right there, which is pretty decent. I don't think we need to bother putting any over there. We'll put one over here, and then Barlin can go. 
And by the time he makes it here, it might all be over because, like, you might not need him. Hi, um, Dom, um, we we need to um have him give over his units, I think. So let's just bring him over here, and we're not going to fight these Isengard armies. We'll let them fall back, and we'll destroy them over there. And yes, we'll keep team. this spy on All this general own. here because I don't know where or this you army. See me, sire. How did we Something to spot him from over here? This shall not see right, there we go. Me, and day. this I guy, I think he's just going to hold the bridge for now we since for he's not a summer attacker, if you want to call him that. So now we've got another general. Oh, that's the one that we've just we've just trained. So I'm gonna leave it there. Next time, we're gonna hopefully return that or give that over to the Northern Dunedain for maybe a bit of money. We're going to push on from Edraihan with um, Grawl and push for Tirithanduin. This, of course, is going to the Elves as will all of this. But we might even sneak into Isengard through the back door. But how interesting. I think on the 160th turn, if we do a toggle fog of war, to see how the war between the Easterlings, Mordor, and Isengard is going, I think that would be really interesting. Right, well, I'm going with Gandalf. Good day.